And so begins week two of No Hot Water in the Flat. It is dark out today. Good thing we did all our filming for Maddie's video yesterday. Oh, Maddie's gone off to the gym to get away from me. Slash, they have hot water, so she's going to shower too. The landlady has organized for someone to come around tomorrow. I can't remember what I've told you. I don't remember what Maddie said. So a part in the boiler broke. Uh, they came around the next day last week. It was like Friday. So when I was at my parents, they came around and the guy said, it's a part that doesn't usually break. So that means no shops in the area had a replacement part for that because it doesn't break so they don't have it in stock. So he's ordered a new one in. And I think it's coming tomorrow. I think that's the plan and then he's coming with it tomorrow. It's getting a bit smelly now. On a different note, I'll just window back the windows and it's literally just, it's all come back again. Like, <laughs> so clearly there's a lot of moisture in the air. I think I'll have another go at it. It's like our own mini dehumidifier. The windows attract all the moisture and I suck it up. Here's Mr. and Mrs. Bike. As you can probably see, I did not clean him when I took him back and I did not go cycling. There will be more cycling and more cycling videos to come soon, I promise. But as you can see, the weather outside is a bit grim. I tell you what though, cleaning and getting everything sorted on a Sunday night is definitely the way forward. Uh, last night we were just sitting here. Actually, Maddie was doing work, but I was just sat here. I was watching friends and gaming a bit. You know, that was like eight o'clock. That could easily have gone on all day because we had a long day filming. We filmed a lot of clips for Maddie's um, latest recipe cooking video. I could even, we could have watched a film. We could have, I could have just sat watching a whole season of Friends until midnight. Uh, but I decided to be a responsible adult. And I went and I hoovered, I mopped, I did the recycling. I did two loads of laundry, I did all the washing up, and I window back the windows, and I cleaned the bathroom. Wow. And all of that only took a couple of hours, and I could do that while I was just listening to music. And then I woke up this morning, everything's tidy, everything's clean, the flat's done and ready, and you don't have to worry about that, and you can get straight into doing whatever. You know, if you've got work to do, if you've got other things to do, you don't want tedious chores in the way. So I'm very pleased, the flat looks very nice. And now Manny's gone to the gym, I can just sit here gaming. I haven't even made breakfast yet, I've been chatting this whole time. I've got to edit, I've got to film. Well, here I am filming. And, oh, we've got to reshoot the brownies because they just, they taste, really they good taste fry. awful. We messed them up yesterday a bit. We thought it was the recipe or the ingredients, but we believe it is the oven, because this oven is some kind of super oven that cooks everything in half the time. So we put the brownies in and they didn't look like they were done. We took them out after like 25 minutes when it said they should have been taken out. And they were sort of crispy and hard on the outside and soft on the inside, it was very weird. But we didn't put them in the fan oven so that might have been our mistake. We even got a little temperature gauge that I'll show you. We got this little temperature gauge to tell, because we could tell the oven was being really weird. It was like burning stuff after 10 minutes. But it was saying the temperature was matching well, we set it to, so we'd set it to like 180 degrees and it was telling us it was like 170, 180. So I've no idea why it cooks things weird. We might have to ask the landlady about that as well when she comes around later. Silver lining though, it just means we get to eat loads more brownies. Here's my new banana stash, which look the ripest. They kind of just look a bit bruised, don't they? Are you ripe? Um... What about you? Yeah, you'll do. The good thing about going back to visit my parents is that they live right next to a big Sainsbury's, which means I can go there and get all the cheap bananas I want. I will admit that buying a whole crate of bananas does make you look a bit weird, and I can understand why people might get a bit curious, but I wish just once when I buy them, the cashier wouldn't ask me if I have a pet monkey at home. That joke got old the first time. Think of something new. I'm gonna try some cranberries today. They're a pound, they're on offer in Sainsbury's. Uh, but I don't think Maddie's gonna eat them because she loves raspberries. But we'll see what they're like. They might be horribly bitter. But I know they're good for you. What else shall we put in? We have a whole cupboard. Look how dark it is today. This is the middle of the morning and this is the light. I know the camera is compensating for it, but still. 
We need to clear some of this pantry stuff out. What's this? What's this stuff? Ooh. Yeah, I'll have you. This is all stuff man has got sent in previous videos. Oh, cranberry. Oh, dried. Okay. Ah, let's use the open one, shall we? You got the chia seeds. Yeah, I'll have some of you. What's this at the back? Is that wheat grass? I think it is. Yeah, might as well plop that in. Spirulina. Why not? Gotta get rid of you. Chia seeds. Goji berries. No. Lemon juice. Yes. I did buy some dried dates, but I think I should save that for days when I'm doing stuff or when I'm cycling. Don't need them today. I'm just sitting on the sofa today. I like my smoothies more watery because they're easier to drink. And especially when you've got powder in, you want to make sure it gets all mixed in. Back you go. Absolutely starving. It's got an interesting colour, hasn't it? Not bad. Different. I haven't had a cranberry smoothie before, actually. Maybe a little too powdery. I did go a bit overboard with whatever three three powders plus chia seeds. I wonder how much that would cost in a, a smoothie. Do you call it a shop? Smoothie cafe with all these extra bits. Probably be looking at about five pounds for that. In reality, that probably only costs about. I don't know. 70, 80p to make. It's not bad for a filling breakfast. It's like when you eat more, when you, when you fill yourself up and eat the right amount. The day before, you get even hungrier the next day. Like yesterday, I had a smoothie, a lot of nachos with Maddie, essentially like a whole plate of nachos throughout the day, a burger and sweet potato fries, and three brownies. And then the day before that, I had a smoothie, one and a half wraps, plus a toasted sandwich for lunch and then I had two plates of dinner and it's made me even hungry. I haven't even been exercising, I'm, I'm starving. Anywho, we got some filming to do later. Uh, so I better get editing. I feel like I say this every day, but I've got to get a move on. Just when you thought they were done, they come back. Mm. You want some? They're like a little demon. They're growing. Mm. Two packages have come for different flats. The man has not yet been to pick we up my package. Package collectors. I just made brownies because. We, I did a recipe video and I made brownies yesterday and our oven sucks because it is, it cooks did, everything in half the time. I did explain all this. Oh. It cooks everything in half the time. It's really strange. If you put a pizza in there and the pizza says 10 minutes, it will take like four minutes to cook the pizza and it will like burn the crust and then the middle won't be cooked. It's really annoying, especially if you're trying to bake something. So um, I tried to bake some brownies yesterday and um, they started to bubble and they went really weird and then they ended up basically not working. They still tasted delicious, but they like fell apart. So I made them again today and I put the temperature really low and they're still not quite as they usually are, but they they taste so good. They did crumble a little bit. You can see how they've kind of crumbled and they're kind of, you know, coming apart a little bit, which it do, they don't usually do, but they are so good. Like, look at them. Oh my gosh, that's one I ate. And Alex has had one too. They're so good. See, like they kind of fall apart, but I, I, I had to take them out of the oven because I was worried, but it's the sort of thing that like, who cares? <laughs> and now Alex has an array. I stacked them all up and they fell over. So they all fell apart. He's got those, which is basically like a cake. Alex, 
He's got crisps and his toasty, so you're all set for the rest of the day. Mm, I feel pretty full. <laughs> I'm so full. I only had half a brownie and I'm full. They're very, uh, very it's dense. Like the orange makes it very. Then they're, they're full on. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it the most satisfying thing in the world? You'd be a terrible window washer. Why? Your lines are all over the place. <laughs> Talk about streaky. You're the slowest window cleaner I've ever had. I'm kind of annoyed you did that because I really wanted to do it. It's really pleasing, isn't it? That's the second time we've done it today. Let's see what happens overnight. It will be right back. Maddie, the man's come. Come. Oh. Come in. The man's come to look at the damp in the bathroom. Yeah. But I really need a wee. And I don't know when he's going to leave. It's been stuck on 18 minutes for like the tiny was wrong then. 10 minutes. Yeah, it was wrong. But look, I like you can see it on the screen. It gets going down 32 seconds, 31 seconds, like every five seconds. I don't know why Adobe struggles so much with getting the timing right. It's like when you render the timeline too. It tells you it's got one second left and then two minutes later it's still doing it. You're going to beat me at this rate. Nice going for a while, I think. Yeah, but you've got 19 minutes left and you're at 86%. Gone down three seconds in the last half a minute. Oh no. You're 10 minutes. I'm 12 minutes. What are you doing, computer? I hate you so much. It's burger time. Recipes mm -hmm. up here. <laughs> is it actually up here? Yeah. Or is it up here? No, it's up here. Yeah. We froze them. Because we made, whoa, this is zoomed in. Because in my recipe, I made the recipe makes four, you can just freeze two and have them at another time and you've got a super fast dinner, like right now. Oh gosh, that's too long. Oh God, I was chatting my way in. Uh, I meant to do it for 10 seconds, but I could start talking to the camera. I say sorry, it's not my bread. Yes, it is. <laughs> Floppy cheese. Put a bit more ketchup in it to turn down the mustard. Yeah. This was a- Blood um, sauce. We made, some more burger sauce yesterday, but I put too much mustard in this one by accident, so it's kind of like the fail of the recipe. And how does that taste? Yep. Yeah, really nice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They've seen this already on my channel. I know. I kind of want to see it again. This is my first time making these, the, the, these burgers as well, and they were legit the best burgers that I've ever had. Ever. No, honestly, do you not think? But the best vegan burgers I've ever had. So let's dish them out. Yeah, we've been spoiled lately, haven't we? Yes, because of all these recipe videos. It's going to continue, Alex. I mean, spoiled by ourselves, so that's mm. kind of okay. Oh, you're ah. right. Yeah, I shouldn't have touched it with my finger. Gherkin. So would you say these are better than like a Big Mac? Oh my god, are you joking? Big Mac's disgusting. What about uh, Whopper the Junior? Dead animals. What about? Processed meat. Not good for you. I can't think of any other burgers. Veggie burgers <laughs> are great, especially if you, even if you are vegan, because they're so full of flavour comparatively, I think. And they're something that I think a lot of my friends who aren't vegan will often go for in a restaurant. If there's like burgers, often my friends will just get mm. the veggie burger because it's, it tends to be spicy or have flavour or it's kind of a different vibe than eating like a full on burger, yeah. so. I recall, do you remember in St Andrews, there was That's that- it now. Is that it? Yeah. Delicious. That pub, the Vic, would yes. do two for one burgers yeah. on like, I think like weekdays. So if you went out on a night out in the week, you could have a delicious two for one burger meal the next day, like two burgers for eight quid. And they had veggie burgers and I would always have them because they yeah. were the best. When I would eat out, I'd get the veggie burger because yeah. a normal burger would always make me feel sick. Yeah. So I'd only get a proper burger, like a meat burger if I was like, Oh, yeah. I'm going for it or something, but let's eat. I'm so hungry. What are you looking for? Nothing. I'm just going to eat. <laughs> there's, there's mayo in the burger sauce, isn't there? You cool off, Mr. Burger. I tried this on camera on my channel, but... When you do that, do you mean not good? When bad, I do that, I burger. mean my mouth is just... So mm, bad, your mouth is just... The best vegan burger. I'm going to make this in batches and I'm going to freeze it every week because it's so good. I've had better. 
No, you haven't. The veggie burger at McDonald's, for example. Screw you.